it is unfortunate that the, 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 the country has been put in an election mood. You know, people are just talking about politics, how they impeach so-and-so, how so-and-so is useless, others are calling others snakes. There are all sorts of things that are going on. It's really upon the President of the Republic of Kenya, who is also our party leader, to put his house in order. What responsibility do you take for what's going on? Well, I have no responsibility. There are those that accuse you that you bully people, that you don't listen to the people. In your own county, home county that is, that is Neri, I think most of the members of parliament, if not all, have stepped away from you. Why is this? <laughs> I don't think I don't bully anybody. I'm just truthful. I ask members of but parliament. Listen back that. What does truthful I just mean? ask the members of parliament to listen to the people, to listen to the ground. They call that bullying. It's not bullying. It's just being truthful. You know, you know people don't want to be told the truth. We have a problem with this country. People want to live a lie. Those members of parliament from my county are very good people. But they had a lot of coercion and intimidation. But it doesn't really matter. What matters is that the near you, the near people, I was there the other day, are with me. 44 members of the county assembly are with me. The governor of Nyeri is with me. If the MPs want to be intimidated and be coerced to seem to fight me, that's up to them. They have a date with the people of Nyeri in the fullness of time. And I'm really not bothered by this. There are reports that, uh, Mr. Deputy President, you're working with opponents of sitting members of parliament to decampaign them ahead of the 2020 election. I am not working with any opponent of anybody. What happens, Sam, is that nature abhors vacuum. If I go to a meeting and a member of parliament doesn't turn up, another character who is interested in leadership turns up, you cannot chase him away. I am a people's person. Nature abhors vacuum. I have no People's candidate. Person. I have no candidate. I have not looked for anybody to ca campaign anybody. What I cannot do, for sure, when I go around the country, I cannot stop Kenyans to accompany me to wherever I am going. If a member of parliament is there, he or she is given a chance to say hello. If he is not there, and there is somebody else who wants to say hello, they are allowed to say hello. That's the way it goes. Yet, some of them claim that you're forcing them to attend meetings. I don't force Case anybody. Case in point, the member of parliament for Nyeri Town mm -hmm. once told me in studio that he had invited him to join you in a meeting and he excused himself saying he was committed elsewhere only for you to go and speak ill of him. I have no capacity to force anybody to attend my meeting. Meetings are voluntary. My meetings are very well attended because I have a huge following. Any clever politician would attend my meeting. If he or she chooses not to attend, I have nothing to do with it, and I don't complain about it. You know, I, all I say is that uh, if you want to come, my office, as a matter of courtesy, informs every elected leader of my tours around the country. The decision whether to attend or, no, or, 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 whether to attend or not to attend is your decision as a leader. And I would not take offense for you not coming, because I have nothing to do with you. You know, I had somebody saying that... Uh, that I'm unhappy somebody has not come to accompany me to church. Sam, what you need in church is the priest, the choir, and the congregation. And the service is on. Whether a member of parliament is in church or not, that will never dilute the quality of the service. We go to church to listen to the sermon, to, to, to praise and worship. And if the church choir is present, mm -hmm. the congregation is present, you know, and in fact, the Bible says where two or three are gathered, that's where God is. That's all you need, two or three. I don't think I have any issue with anybody attending my meeting or not attending. I am not bothered, really. Okay. Uh, you, you, you're not bothered, you say. Yet, if, as you say, that there are plans to impeach you, if an impeachment motion makes its way to Parliament, you will need members of Parliament uh, to make a case for you. Um, because it is them that vote. That is their decision, Sam. My, 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 my position is very, very clear. I was elected by the people of Kenya. Okay? It is the people of Kenya who will confirm whether I want, I'm working well or not. But if members of how, how they decide? If members of parliament yeah. are persuaded, intimidated, coerced to remove me from office, so be it. The matter is there. It's, it's that simple. There, is really, there are no issues. 
One, I have no capacity to coerce any member of parliament. I have no capacity to intimidate any member of parliament. I have no bribe, money to bribe any member of parliament. If members of parliament want to impeach Deputy President Dr. Gashawa, so be it. If they have issues with him that are constitutional, that meets the threshold, and they want to go ahead and send him home for whatever crimes he has committed, there's nothing Regal Gashawa can do about it. That is their purview. Yet, Deputy President, including the meeting that you attended today in, in the city, some of the members of parliament you're working with were saying that uh, we have seen the dog, now we want to see the owner of the dog. What does that mean? I, you can ask the ones who made those statements. Uh, it has been repeated in several meetings that well, you attended. Well, I did not make those statements. That, those are questions you can ask those who made those Are you statements. concerned that such kind of language is being used in your presence? Well, all kinds of languages I've used in many meetings, including where I am personally abused. And that is what is happening. The country is in that mood of abuses, of tough talk, of campaigning, and uh, there's nothing I can do. I have not studied it. Does it bother you? It bothers me a lot. So what are you going to do about it? Well, uh, it's up to our boss to decide uh, what should be done because he is our party leader. He can call a PG and uh, bring down the political temperatures, tell the members of parliament to stop uh, attacking each other, ask those who accompany him who abuse the deputy president to stop because if he told them to stop, they'll stop. Ask them to stop these night meetings. If he told them to stop, they'll stop. By your boss, you mean the president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he did, they'll stop. It's really him to provide leadership so that the country can go back to work. Some, we have many challenges as a country. We have promises that we give to the people of Kenya. We have stored projects that need to be completed. We have pending bills over 900 billion that we need to pay. We have housing program. We have health issues. We have uh, issues of business. It is unfortunate that the, 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 the country has been put in an election mood. You know, people are just talking about politics, how they impeach so-and-so, how so-and-so is useless, others are calling others snakes. There are all sorts of things that are going on. It's really upon the president of the Republic of Kenya, who is also our party leader, to put his house in order. What responsibility do you take for what's going on? Well, I have no responsibility because my team answers to what is going on. Because we are also politicians, and uh, if there is an onslaught against the deputy president, he too has people who support him. If you abuse him uh, in meetings, uh, the, the, the team that supports him will also answer. That's what happens, because uh, he ca they cannot just keep quiet. So it's upon our boss, President William Ruto, to call his house to order. Have you spoken to the president? Yes, I've talked to the president several times, and, and I've asked him to call his house to order. Yeah, he's here to do it, and I trust he'll do it because the atmosphere we are having, the environment we are having in the country is toxic. Kenyans are very unhappy about what is going on. How can people be meeting possibly at this time to discuss how to impeach a deputy president when the country needs a lot of work to be done, when we have roads that have stored for years, when we have people who cannot pay hospital bills, when we have challenges of water, when we have issues of a good business environment, how insensitive can we be to the Kenyan public that we can see to discuss on how to dispose of a deputy president who is in office when there are very many issues mm -hmm. of very great concern to the people of Kenya. I would rather, you know, if it were possible, all of us to agree to go back to factory settings and be very fair to the people of Kenya. We were just elected two years ago. We have not delivered on the promises that we give the people of Kenya. Yet we are back there now saying so and so is bad, talking about 2027. Even some people had started talking about 2032. People are looking for running mates. People are saying Gashago will not be this. So and so will be this. So and so can join with this. So and so. I mean, it's very unfair to the people of Kenya. It's extremely insensitive. Mm -hmm. And I would rather, if it is possible, uh, our boss president William Ruto to call his house to order okay. because if he called his house to order very decisively this house will get into order and people can go back to work and everybody can do his work you know everybody has his our work is well spread out the president has his job to do 
I have a job to assist him to deliver on the mandate. Members of parliament have work to do in terms of legislation and oversight. Governors have work to do in terms of running the counties. Everybody has work to do. Okay. We have just come from an election. Right. Kenyans are very irritated by what is going on. It's really not fair to the right. people of Kenya.